Hey everybody, Carly here on day 10 and we have made it to the double digits. I am so proud of y'all, really. I'm proud of myself, I'm proud of y'all, and I just want to say, before we get into today's, top, into today's topic, I want to say that I want you to realize that every day that you do this is an accomplishment. This is not one of those, oh, I ate some food and I have to start all over at day one. No, you have given your body the nutrients that it needs through juicing. And if you slip up, it's not a cheat. If you slip up and have some food, just keep going. Just get right back on that juice wagon so that you are feeling good about your body. Here, my stomach. <laughs> so that you're feeling good about your body. You're feeling good about sticking to your plan and the commitment that you made to yourself. This is not about a commitment that you make to me. It's about the commitment that you make to you for a healthier life. And every step, every single step that you make towards that is wonderful. So if you had two juices and a meal because you got a little bit hungry, maybe you didn't drink enough water, and you decided that this is what you wanted to have, okay, then that's what you had. And that's more than fine. More than fine. So just keep going. And for everybody who stuck it out to to today and made it to day 10, I'm very, very proud. I'm a little subdued today because I want to talk about the video that I made yesterday. And after, after I put the video up, I was very, very proud of it, but it's also to talk about my body is a very personal thing for me. It's a place where I have not been comfortable talking about, I don't, my whole life, maybe. I've always looked at myself as the bigger girl. I was always the bigger girl when I was growing up, the taller girl, the bigger girl. And I was never really comfortable in that place with my body. And to get to this place where I'm really loving my body, to even have that conversation with y'all is really big for me. Now, I don't script any of these videos. It's important to me that I just talk about what's on my heart. And so I talked about what was on my heart yesterday and I got some feedback from a person that I care about who said, well, you know, the video was wonderful. However, what you need to maybe explain or how you made you need to explain is when you said your true body, does that mean that people are walking around in false bodies? Um, I don't know about how you feel about your body. You may have gotten to a point where you're disappointed in the way that your body looks. You may have gotten to a point where you're carrying extra weight here, there, and where, or where have you, and know that through juicing and through exercise, proper nutrition, lots of water intake, you'll be able to get that off. Like I said, yesterday's video was really for me and my conversation with my own body. So every video that you watch from me you have got to interpret that for what it means for you. Now, when I said true body yesterday, I meant that, and I meant that for me. And let me tell you why. For years, like I said, I've had this misconception of what I really look like. Somebody said in my comments yesterday, how dare you not like your face? I did not like or appreciate my face for a very long time, a very long time. You know, um, when I was growing up, I had a lazy eye, and it's still, you can still see remnants of it, but I had surgery to have it corrected. So, it, it, I had lazy eye, dark skin, and a mother who's a model. Yes. Oh, the wonderful trifecta. And I wasn't, I was always looking to her like, oh my God, you're so beautiful. And always wanted to look like that. I've always been around beautiful women. I've had very, gore, I mean, really beautiful friends. And I love them all dearly. And have all looked at, and have looked at every single one of those friends at some point in time like, oh, I want to look like you. Or I wish I was as pretty as you. They may have had the same thoughts about me, but I never had those thoughts about myself. And it wasn't until I got into my 30s that I started really appreciating what it is that I do look like. Um, so you're carrying all of this around in your mind. And then a few years ago, I had a relationship that severely scarred me, severely. And the person that I ended up as 
after that relationship is nowhere near the person that I am today or the person that I was when I started that relationship. I still love him dearly because he brought a lot to my life and I brought a lot to his. What I ended up with at that time was a person who was broken and hurt and had gained 60, 70 pounds during that relationship. Now I was already overweight. I had, I had already had that addiction with food when I got into the relationship. And this just catapulted it to a place where I walked out of there and didn't recognize my own body. It was not my true body. It was a body that I put on. It was a fat suit, for lack of a better term. Because if I put this fat suit on, then I'm not going to be hurt. I'm not going to be rejected. Why give people a chance to reject me? When I get this fat suit on, then that's, that keeps people away from me. It's a buffer. It's all my feelings and emotions and, and hurt and, and fear and pain and grief. I can put all of that on and hide in the middle. And that way I can keep people away from me. That was how I felt about my body. And that's what I meant when I talked about true body yesterday. Because the body that I was wearing was a false body. It's not the one that is here now. It's not the one that is showing up in me. To me, your true body is the body that is represented in you for your perfect health. It doesn't matter what size that body is. It doesn't matter what shape that body is. It is the body that you wear that is representative of your wonderful, loving, caring, beautiful feelings towards it. It is the body that walks down the street and people look at you and you say, and they say, damn, that girl's healthy. Or damn, that guy really is, he's in his body. It's when you own your walk. It's when you own your breathing. It's when your body is disease free. It's when your body is, is hydrated and happy and healthy and flexible and just feels amazing. That's a true body for me. It's not about what's seen on television because some of those people on television are walking around in their false bodies. See what I mean? The body that I feel right now, the I can breathe out of both nostrils. I'm flexible. When I work out, I feel strong. When I walk down the street, I have my walk on. That is just, that's me. And I have shed my false body. And I will never pick it up again. Because I don't need to be protected. I don't need to be protected from hurt or scarring or anything like that. Been through it. Done it. Happy to have had the experience because I'm a stronger person on the other side. And now I can walk forward in a place where I am no longer afraid to show people who I really am. That's what these videos have done for me. For me to even have this conversation with you about my vulnerability, about the, the trials and stuff that I've gone through that's gotten me to this point, that's a major step for me. And I hope that through these, you are really having these questions with yourself. It's not just about watching my journey either. It's about having those questions with those, those conversations with yourself to ask the question, who am I really? What do I really look like? What do I want to look like? And not you know, so that you can look like some Barbie doll that's on television. It's who do you really look like? And loving that, that's what I meant by love your body. And that's what I want you all to do. I want y'all to have that same experience that I'm having right now and will continue to have because I do love my body for the first time in a really long time. Well, maybe ever. So, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.